There we go. We're in the game. We are <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Fantastic. So we're going to try these commentaries out, aren't we, Wayne? We are indeed. Commentating on uh, the different games we've had. And in this one, uh, I wanted to do a, uh, a replay of this just because I'm using just the car 98 in the arm. And I did those two videos recently, so I thought I thought this could be my first commentary video, and uh, and I hope you've got one ready to go soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to try and find one, but yeah, okay. that's the plan. Because you, uh, you record all your voiceover, like every game, right? So uh, yeah, I have started recording them without Sorry. voiceovers, so we can <laughs> oh, oh. try and get one of these commentaries well, done well, as well. We're both YouTube noobs, so look. Oh yeah, look look where I'm dropping. ATC classic. <laughs> yeah, the u was hanging around the, there. The usual. <laughs> hey. And this was recorded um, maybe like three, four weeks ago. So this is in the uh, early days. Okay, of so before most of the big patches came out. Then. Yeah. So I guess unlike you on your your Xbox regular, um, everything's loaded in for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks fantastic. Actually, you can see the stairs, the walls are all there. That's great. Oh, how how much difference is this for you? Like at this point, you get, I guess you can't see anything. Uh, right now, the walls would have loaded in, and the guns would be in by now. But the stairs still wouldn't be there by now. Oh man, I'm just going to upload the stream video today, and um, on the, I don't know if you were there, but Lamb managed to land in the wall of the ATC, and it killed him. I don't think I was there for that, but that, that's uh, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> You'll see that on the YouTube channel, isn't it? So, what, from what I remember, right, this 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 whole round is is fairly intense, um, yeah. and I'm getting lucky because I think pretty early on I get both the car 90 and the ump. I've already got the ump, and there was about five, I think five, or so people dropped at Millie. So I just I kind of say, thought... I didn't really see many people... It was before the patch was in that you could easily look around, wasn't it? Yeah. So I guess you just gave up about looking around. Well, spot on. So I, I just kind of go for it, I think. It all, it all kicks off in the melee and it goes from there, essentially. So, oh man, I think, I, I think I'm probably going to... Um, Add some extra slow mos into a few of these kills because there's a couple of sweet ones. <laughs> How are you finding um, since the um, update? Have you? I'm still struggling with the sensitivity of the aim a little bit. Uh, I'm actually okay with it. I've just reduced everything down to I think two. To two. Including this this new acceleration thing. Everything's on two, uh, apart from the, your basic look around. Um, yeah, everything's on two. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's part of getting used to playing an early access game. I just kind of uh, maybe I'm just using it as an excuse. <laughs> I'm just, just <laughs> but not it's, now's the time to tweak around with it and have a have a play and see what feels right because yeah. you know, it takes a while getting used to it all, doesn't it? But uh, definitely on default settings, I uh, when I first loaded in, oh. first had a game, couldn't couldn't hit a barn door. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed just then, but when I was running around in the uh, in the factory, as we call it, I kind of uh, double checked the door and it, it, it become open whilst I was running around. So I remember spotting this guy. He must have been in the factory with me. Looked like he'd been parachuting in for too long. So <clears throat> kill number one. Kill number one's a bit easy. <laughs> kill number one. You were quite uh, quite fortunate that he kept jumping, so your bullets were able to hit him over the uh, over those machines. I think he had no idea that I was coming. So it did look that way. He didn't, but, he you didn't know. even hear me. I mean, these were the, look at this looting looting skills. I think I might. Oh, That's quick. I might. That was actually quite quick. <laughs> well, no, I still swapped the ump out for the Uzi and then had to reload the ump. So, I don't think. I mean, this was this was about four days after the game came out um, on Xbox, and I, I don't think I've got any better at the uh, loot menu since then. <laughs> well, it's going to be interesting to see what changes, if any, they actually make to it. Like we've suggested, um, we'll talk about how they should implement a uh, automatic equip button if you find an attachment that you like that you can just press and it automatically goes on. 
That's the no. I think that would be would make life that much easier. That's a no-brainer. No, they need to add that. I've seen in some of these other battle royale games that are coming out, you can um, equip stuff straight off off the body on the floor. So, like if you yeah. if you see a Scarell, imagine you could just uh, auto equip that from a body um, rather than just like if it was on the ground. Really, I think that would also be. Useful. It would make it a lot better. I don't think they need to uh, put that into PCs because with the mouse, it's so easy to navigate and change things and whatnot. But with the controller, you just—it's just not as much control. Oh, that's very true. I think I've just seen my car 98 there. I just saw it, yeah. <laughs> but there's some shots gone off, so you notice I'm just ignoring guns at the moment. Yeah. Try to there you go. He knew I was coming. <laughs> Ooh. Good use of cover. That guy <laughs> was shit. <laughs> <laughs> he just killed someone that actually he had just uh, killed uh, someone. Crate on the floor. So yeah, he he wasn't very good either, I don't think. But you know, I think at this stage, most people hadn't realised that for me the umps the bit overpowered at the moment. Um, yeah, I certainly think it's because recoil is so hard to control on Xbox that. All sub, I think the two submachine guns that are nine mil, the easy and the, the ump are just so overwhelmingly better than the ARs at close range. Well, that's that's what they are designed for, isn't it? It's close range encounters, so it would make sense that they are better ah, than the that's ARs. True. That's true. That's I mean, a good your, point. your ARs are your, your all-round gun, which you can use for close combat and ranged, really. So you've got your snipers. For your designated long range, or if you're feeling lucky, some close range yeah, stuff, and your, your SMGs, which are you know, designed for close combat. So it makes sense that they are better. Yeah, that's very true. That's a very good point. Not thought about it like that. I think it's it's quite different from PC. I think that's that's what I'm finding. Um, oh, right. Well, the the amp on PC is still pretty powerful. It is, yeah, but it's easier but to control. But with the accuracy, you can use with. The, the, the mouse, you know, yeah. you get the AR, a couple of headshots, they're dead. So very true. It's a very different game. Here you go, mate. Like, so I'm quite glad this was a few weeks ago, and I'm glad that I went back for that car 98 at that point. <laughs> it would have been embarrassing if I'd called it out, and then uh, it's not anywhere. But I'm going to just go quiet for a minute because you need to appreciate this headshot. There's a guy in the top left corner of that uh, billboard. You'll see him running yep. along it in a minute, and okay. um, I think this is. Probably one of my best shots on Xbox so far, and it was in like the first week. So I probably just looking around the usuals. There he yeah, is. Yeah, there he is. Him. Slight bit of left. movement right at the top. Slight bit of movement. And for those of you that wonder why we call it the billboard, you can see why because yeah. you just uh, clearly show everyone where you are, and that was a great <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> iron sights oh, and everything. Mate, iron sights straight in the head. But yeah, I think that's a good review of the billboard and why we call it that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's a lot easier to say than the Russian radar array. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why would you want a tongue twister for a name of something like Quick Wayne? He's by the Russian Raver Array. I do like the Car 98 without, um, without a scope down the iron sights, though. It's uh, still such a good gun. But I noticed, I noticed from um, doing the Car 98 review that I actually seem to do quite well with it with just a red dot on. Yeah, it kind of feels that you need to find an eight times um, for the car. Yeah, RTA. I've actually been uh, using it a couple of times with a red dot recently and had some uh, some very, very good shots and some good success with using it after um, talking to you and seeing you know your little clip with the red dot. Oh, there you go. Where the hell did that guy come from? <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly, you can even hear him. I think he heard me up on the roof that whole time heard my shot he must have known he must have known that i was coming for him basically 
I don't think I, I think I remember hearing a slight noise and going to investigate. Um, obviously there's doors open and shit like that, so. Um, yeah, he didn't last very long. Okay, we can have a bit of a chat now, mate, because as far as I remember, I think. <laughs> it's circle management now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think I've cleared, I've cleared the, uh, I've cleared the whole melee base at this point. I'm just. Yeah, well, you've got four kills so far. You've got good loot. It's not like I've run around the whole thing, but yeah, I think I'll go and check this guy for a, what he got and see if I can grab a sights. Oh, SMG Ooh. suppressor. Silencer. That's what you need. Oh, look. Don't yawn, mate. I'll have to edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want you getting bored by my replay when we're doing a commentary over oh. each. Getting dizzy, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. So anyway, this go this goes on for a bit now. I think I, I basically <clears throat> take my time. You can see actually from my inventory though. I, I didn't realise I picked this much stuff up. I was watching the replay. You've, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, got some. I was about to comment. You've got a lot of stuff on there. Four but... times with my car ninety eight. I've got the vertical grip on the SMG already with a quick draw, and I'm about to put it silenced. So it's a pretty solid setup. Got to get it extended for a number though, those extra 10 bullets. You you wait till you watch the um, the first ever stream <laughs> low lights video. There were there, there was <laughs> there was um, some good moments in it, but I didn't put any of them in my video because I thought it was far funnier to focus on how much of a well a shit show it was. <laughs> it was really enjoyable. <laughs> I think <laughs> jumped off a bit too early there, did you? Yeah, well, I think, you know, vaulting had just been added to PC, what, a week before it came out on Xbox? Yeah. And this is, this is what, maybe a week and a bit afterwards, so... It's just been added to the test server, hasn't just it? Just been added. This was, uh... The first, yeah. the first real go at it. Um, and so when you used to run down those billboard stairs, you used to, you used to call out what floor the kind of enemy we were on, if you'd, if you'd seen them. Um, and it, it, I remember in this first week I got caught out a few times by uh, people jumping off early from the billboard and, and uh, running around on me. So the never ending loot of the mini base continues but at least the circles are <laughs> pushing me into some action here. Loot simulator? Loot simulator, loot simulator. Yeah it's interesting that like, that's its kind of the fault that I guess the Fortnite players and other players kind of mention, but I think the slower pace on this game, you, you never know when the action is going to kick off. So exactly, it's it's yeah. not always constant action every time you jump in. Which yeah, when it does happen, it means you have to be a lot more switched on and a lot more prepared for it to happen at any time. It's very true. You're listening out for footsteps whilst running around looting or any signs of gunfire where it's at. Um, and I think when you're in duos or squads, that's just heightened a little bit because you know we're all looting different buildings. We've got the whole place covered. You're going to have to run after and help your help your buddies if they get in trouble. So you know, even though it's not like you've been told you're looting for a clear five minutes now, get on with it. <laughs> the action's going to kick <laughs> yeah. off at any moment. Right, there we go. Bit bit of looting. <laughs> Lovely bit of looting there. Sorted your guns out finally, though. Yeah, exactly right, mate. I don't. I still don't pick up stun grenades. I, th I think they need to increase the area of, of effect on those. They just don't really seem yeah. to cut the mustard for me. I mean, yeah. When if you're in a building, they seem to have a lot more effect. But that you are inherently closer to it when it goes off than just out in the open. Yeah, that's good. Good advice, I guess. I haven't, re I haven't really played around with them enough. I mean, everyone knows that the Molotov's dog shine. <laughs> yeah, that's just a, a basically a flare indicating where you are on the map, especially in the final circle. Oh, man, imagine if they added a night mode with flares at some point. <laughs> that would be great. I'm sure I've seen player unknown mention it in the past. There's, there has been talk and speculation. It was um, pretty damning that they've removed. There is no weather mode on the Xbox, actually, is there? No, they've removed rain and fog from PC as well. 
because they looked at the analytics and just saw that every time a fog map came in, you know, 25% of the players would just drop out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is, you know, what we noticed a lot, wasn't it, on PC? Well, especially fog. fog cut especially out. fog, yeah. All the time. I quite like fog. I thought it was atmospheric. It really. I it added an extra element to it, didn't it? You know, it was a different style of gameplay. I wonder if they'll bring it back, and I wonder if uh, if they can add dynamic weather at some point, so it can become. I think that's that's the future, isn't it? Is dynamic weather because then you know you could be out and about having your thing, and then some fog rolls in, yeah, or it starts raining, or you know thunder and lightning or whatnot. But obviously that's going to take a lot of extra processing power. And at the moment, I think they're just focusing on getting this thing running. Yeah. Just running. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's very true. That's very true. But, you know, the future's bright for it. And uh, I think dynamic weather would add an extra you know, element of randomness to it. I think Fog's dead, though. I think Fog's gone. I don't see it coming back. You don't really like it. See it suddenly get foggy during the day. <laughs> yeah, unless you're in San Francisco, you know, that happens all the time. Oh, really? It? Or maybe they'll add yeah. one of their new maps will be an industrial one. <laughs> well, I was thinking for the new uh, the new desert map, you could have a little sandstorm roll in. Yeah, that's very true, actually. That would be a bit like World of Tanks. There, there is another new map on its way as well, right? I'm sure I've seen something about a snow area being worked on. Oh, I've not actually heard or seen anything uh, about that, but it would make sense. Maybe I haven't. The snow map would be epic with, uh, you know, actual snow falling down. Oh. So that would be the map you could put your uh, your fog on. Absolutely right. Yeah, that'd be you sweet. Know? Or you're up a mountain and then, the, you know, some low-lying cloud just rolls across. Here's a question, right? I've currently got my car 98 away and I doubt we can remember, but I'm just looking at all the ammo around. How much ammo do you need in a car 98? Uh, realistically, mm -hmm. you're probably looking at 50. I think 50 is the magic number, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's always good to have a little extra, but I, I don't think I've ever fired 50 shots with the Car 98, and that's been in some, you know, pretty intense big battles on, on squads, you know. Yeah, too right, um, too right. I mean, if you're going to kill, like, I guess, a top kill game is like really 10 kills, 15 kills, right? Yeah. You're not going to need five shots per person. <laughs> no. If you do need five shots per person, then you're doing something wrong. Then you're not going to get 10 to 15 you kills. Know. No. Yeah, no, true enough. Cause... And it only takes, what, three, even three hits to the body with the car 98 and they're down or dead. Wow, it's definitely true. Wow, here we go. Red zone. Red zone. Nice. Bit of action. Nice and noisy. Obviously. Lovely bit of driving. Classic there you go. Like a glove. You can, like you, you can tell it scared me. <laughs> oh, wait, wait till you see some of the driving on the stream video. Oh, man. Uh, there was just so much bad <laughs> driving that I had to edit a whole bunch out. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> it wasn't all me either. Um, it was mainly Lamb but I, was driving when I was yeah, when I joined in. Classic. Oh, not the microphone. Yeah, but back to the car 98 thing with the ammo, I just kind of think it's, it's probably best to take the absolute minimum. You normally have a level two, level two bag guaranteed from the mini base, right? Level three even better, but yeah, I think as many grenades as possible in the final circle. Given that people drive around in their cars like crazy, crazy people, I was gonna say. It. Yeah, the car meta is is huge at the moment. Even though they've weakened them a little bit, but um, I also think the grenades. There's so many final circles which we've won because we've chucked grenades in the final circle. I think that, yeah, they're hugely underused um, from what I've had against me, at least. You know, you get the odd person who throws them here and there, but they either don't know what they're doing with them or they just blindly throw them. Yeah, that's very true. Um, I think people maybe need to uh, practice their grenades in the, in the lobby before the game. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's what we should do from here on, just go and grab them and... Uh, get our range in. And practice for an overarm, underarm, and all of the, all of the in between. It's going to kick off now, mate. By the way, there's a nice. There's a, a UAS. We're going to hear any second, I believe. 
Oh, you've got some nice solid cover. You've got cover from shots behind unless they're right next to you, so you should be able to hear them. So it's nice positioning. Yeah, I like... Close to the edge of the circle so you can get in. I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an edge of the circle player. I think anything other than sitting on the edge of the circles on the way in is is crazy. Because as soon as as soon as the blue comes in and hits the you know, connects with the white, everyone goes are gonna turn around and if you're sat in the centre of the smaller circles, you got people from all angles looking at you. So everybody suddenly turns, yeah. Everyone turns, you're sat in the middle, you know, you, you never have three sixty covered, so yeah, I just I just don't like it. But that's that's my that's my style of play now. Okay, so Great aiming with my arm. Cheeky reload. I've got cover. Now, cue the Benny Hill. Cue what? the Benny Hill music. I'm not joking. Oh, it's beautiful. Here we go, you can see him change the gun. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Classic no aim needed with the um. No aim needed. I told you no aim needed. I actually remember on PC watching quite a few people. You know, it's more like a boxing match, gunfire in, in PUBG, I think. You know, especially with close range stuff, I mean. Where it, it's as much about being a difficult target for them as uh, getting your shots in. <laughs> Yeah, especially when it's that close. I mean, like, like you just proved there, you don't really need to aim to get your your no. shots to land. I'm, you just need to uh, evade while shooting. I've not even got the uh, extended mag in this at the moment, so even with thirty bullets, you can just spray and pray a little bit. A little bit of network lag there detected you go. there. There you go. Early days of PUBG. <laughs> I'm in cover behind a rock. No, you're not. <laughs> Womp. Yeah. So I'm on five kills now. Five kills now. Twenty-four left. Good position on the next circle. I was about to comment on that. Yeah. There's all the boost that I didn't have from the mini base, and I, I've already got my uh, butt armor, level four butt armor and level three bag, so not much needed from him. I think that boost were critical to this win. <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. Who's taking your time? Taking. I suppose you're safe. Well, you're right on the edge of the circle, aren't you? So you've got rock in front of you, circle behind you, so you know you're safe from behind. Yeah, there's a compound down there. I mean, th this is the kind of position I like to be in when you're pushing the, the kind of thin side between the white and the blue. Yeah. You see I'm pushing in as the blue pushes in. There's like... You're never going to be too rushed. There's a guy doing exactly the Bit same movement, on yeah. the other side of the compound. You're never going to be uh, overly rushed by the blue if you get on this side. And there's a lot less of uh, clearing work to do. Um, I absolutely hate someone being carrying in the grass or camping and just sneaking up on me when the blue's coming. Out. Classic buggy play there. This is this is early days of Xbox as well, like right? so you can just see that people cower. Having seen me, he doesn't yeah. he doesn't really he doesn't really do much. Just runs and hides. Whoa. What a highlight that was. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> I could not work out where this was from, this shot. Definitely from the left, it sounded like it was from the blue. And there you go, there's your answer. Another bloody... Oh, I hit him. Right, no, no, yeah, yeah. no! That I hit him. I got blood out of that guy. I'm gonna, I'm yeah, I did see that. Going to point a few things out to you at the end of the game when we see the final scores and why I was actually, you know, this is a a good game. Really. A little bit pissed off. <laughs> 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 it's still, it's still probably my most enjoyable game. 
and I think, I mean, I've got the four times on the car 98 at this point, so I think that's what I use at the end. I don't think I'll get to prove my point about the red dot during this. Oh, if you've got a four times, you might as well use that yeah. because it does give you more options. Yeah. I, I feel like an eight times is a little bit overkill. Um, I think early to mid game. Yeah. Uh, eight times are great because you're more likely to get some long encounters. Very and true. even you know the third, possibly fourth circle, when you know the people are camping on the edge of the circle or whatever, and you can go from one edge to the other. If you've got an eight times, you can get get some good lines of sight, and people are often aren't anticipating a long snipe shot from the other side of the circle. Oh, that's very true. Um, it's so bloody loud the car noise there. The M24 is exactly the same. <laughs> it is. The M24 is like a slight bit more damage. Um, still won't drop someone with a level three helmet. But it's a lot louder. But the pair of them, I just think, you know, even if it's silenced, the car 98, you can be heard for around 300 metres around you. So it depends where you are. Lots of people just driving away, I saw there. There's at least you know, two people driving towards the centre of the circle, I assume. Yeah, we're getting into end game now. I think I've not been watching the kills in the top right, but they may, may well of being several people just run over. <laughs> As was the case early X. Well, it's still the case now in Xbox. Yeah, do you think a so? Lot of, I, I, a lot of car kills, yeah. I, I, there's a lot of people who just sit in a car and just drive around. I think that's definitely true. Um, More for solos as well. I hear you go. Yeah, kids. definitely. Look all the intel. There's 14 left. We know there's a guy in the buggy. There's a guy there's over a there. There's a guy just up on the hill. Yeah, the circle's very kind. So you can push the edge. It all kicks off now. I was pretty happy with do. my accuracy with this car 98. That guy's just remember. stood out in the open, no hard cover. I don't know why I didn't hit it. That felt pretty positive. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Next. I think that was the exact same lead, I, minimal lead I had on the first yeah. shot. But he must have had some damage already because that wasn't a headshot. It was not a headshot, mate. It was not a headshot, but wow, body shot still does damage. Quite considerable damage. I love clearly in a gunfight with someone else. I do love these circles at the end. In a tree made in the field. So look there you go, and, uh, there's the same tactic. This is well this is what I've gone away from a little bit and I'm gonna go back to. Oh, there you go. Big shots out. Not far to the white, so I can take my time. I see flashes from the bush. Hence the case for a flash hider. Look how fucked it seems I am at this point. <coughs> Loads of shots coming in from this guy. Yeah. I'll make a run for the circle. It's the thing there, yeah, if you... If you... There you oh, go, look. Christ, there's someone else. <laughs> <laughs> it's wow. all kicking off. Now that guy's made so much noise, that's right in the centre of the circle. But he's And he's in a he's, bush, and there's no cover. Totally I bumped. mean, people can't see you quite clearly, but as soon as you start shooting, like he has been... You, you're right. just showing your uh, position away to everyone else. Watch this shot. I remember this. Right, loads of blood. Nice. And then look in the top right. Dead by the play zone. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that that should give you that kill, right? That, I'm I'm giving myself a kill for that. Nothing worse. That guy's forgotten about He's me. Just... I should have shot him in the head there, really. Look at that though. Great shot. <laughs> Not letting him Great get away. Shot. Not letting him get I away. I mean, that's that's the thing with bushes. I mean, there's the time and a place for it, but end circle, well, there are trees for cover around. It's just far better to get behind a tree. <laughs> because if someone sees you by a tree, you can run around the other side. If someone sees you in a bush and you know they've seen you, you've got that option like that guy just did, is either stay still and die or run and die. <laughs> um, Absolutely true, mate. So, like... I guess I get quite lucky here in this circle because <laughs> everyone shoots me one person at a time. Um, <laughs> but with a bit of good shooting, like, I'm taking my opportunities, which is what it's all about. Right? Three of us alive. So this, you know, there's one person by that tree because he's just throwing a just throwing a smoke, smoke. A smoke at me. I guess that's a bit of Xbox moving as well. He probably thought he had a grenade in his hand. So there's no reason for him to. Well, maybe he was running for the white circle, who knows. Okay, pushing the edge again, solid. Yeah, 
Is this tree in? Keep working the edge. Keep working the edge. Now I'm laying down. Okay. Matty Boy 4 died. AKM, solid gun. And here we go, classic. Classic, I'm going to tell everyone exactly where I am. <laughs> it's, uh... Was, How did that not hit? I think I hit the roof of the car there. Uh, that was quite an easy shot. I feel a bit like, woeful shooting there. The guy's got no idea where I am, though. He's got no Scooby. There you go. Nice. Headshot. Sweet. Make sure of that. Uh, and that's, again, for anyone that is watching, do not drive your car into the <laughs> circle of the final the circle. You are. And, it's, yeah. And don't lay down as well, like the guy knows he's being shot at and there's the last guy who's shooting. If, yeah, at that point in the game, look up, you know it's 2v2, uh, 1v1, v sorry. You know they're not going to be right behind you. He's right next to a tree. If he got behind that and started healing, he'd have been a lot better. Absolutely right, mate. Well there. But yeah, there solid go. win, mate. Um, Great win. R98, I think I demonstrated the best of both. Shooting with the iron sights, shooting scoped in headshots, tailing a few people as well, um, and also demonstrating the terrible aim of the ump. Um, <laughs> not mattering. And just the stopping power of the ump. It's great. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot, see what happens. Oh, he's dead. Brilliant. <laughs> nice one, mate. Well, anyway, like we'll uh, continue this series. And, yeah, for sure. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, we'll do one on your channel. Time to hunt soon. Indeed. What a plug! Do you like my plug? What a I oh, loved it. Loved it, mate. All right. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I'm going to press stop now. No worries. I will also press stop. Bye. Bye.